Hey everybody, check out my new Goal Thermometer SharePoint web part. This uh, thermometer web part is compatible with SharePoint 2010, 2013, and SharePoint Online Office 365. Uh, it's uh, available to be installed as a farm solution through central administration or as a sandbox solution uh, if you choose that path. So here it is. You see the thermometer right here on a web page as a web part. And the goal amount is $10,000, which is configurable, and the current amount is $2,500. When the page first loads, so let's go ahead and see that, you can see that the thermometer grows and stops animation, uh, stops its animating at the current amount of whatever it may be. So let's go ahead and edit it and see what else it can do. So let's edit the web part. Um, and you can see here in the web part properties, that there are a lot a uh, there are a lot of goal thermometer custom properties and settings for it. So you can change the goal amount. So let's go ahead and make this uh, 500. You can change the current amount. Let's go ahead and make this 100. You can optionally enter a uh, a header uh, text and a bottom text that will appear at the uh, top of the thermometer or the bottom of the thermometer. If they are hidden, they don't appear, and the HTML uh, blocks don't appear either, so the size is not affected. And since it's a web part, you can always just use the web part's title as the header text, which is doing right now. Uh, you could change the font color, which is by default black. You can change the background color, which is by default transparent. You can also change the amount of, uh, basically the amount of milliseconds that it takes the animation to complete itself. Uh, the default is 2,000 milliseconds, which is two seconds. You can enter a number prefix, uh, which in this case is a dollar, so it's in dollar amounts. And you can also enter a character or two uh, that will appear as the suffix. So for instance, if I were to enter M here, that would be in millions. And we'll see how that looks. The tick market segment count is a number that that you can ch that you can play with to change the vertical uh, the height of your thermometer, and um, by default it's set at four, but you can make this uh, bigger or smaller. And the width of numbers is uh, in pixels, and it's the width of the numbers on the left side of the thermometer. And you can also change this to change the uh, size of your of your uh, thermometer web part and how it'll appear in your web part space. You can also choose to make your thermometer uh, use large graphics and be a larger thermometer, but there are only two sizes. Their two sizes are default size and large size. And you can also enter in some custom CSS, if you like, to customize the look and feel of your thermometer for your own site. There's also a whole bunch of settings that you can use to configure your thermometer web part to get its goal amount and current amount from uh, another SharePoint list, which could be very useful. But we'll cover that in another demo. And that's it. So let's go ahead and save our changes and refresh the page. And now you see it's set to 500M, which in this case would be millions, and the current amount was 100M in million. And if you want to see what the large version looks like, so let's go ahead and edit the web part again. And let's click the Use Large Thermometer uh, checkbox. And let's also change the tick market uh, tick mark segment count to six to make it taller. And that's it. So let's go ahead and save our changes and refresh the web part. And there you go. You have a large thermometer with um, more uh, more inter uh, I guess uh, more amounts on the left hand side that show because we changed the number of tick marks. Um, I uh, hope you enjoy it, and stay tuned for future updates and releases and new advanced features that we may be adding to it in the future. Thanks. Bye.